How you guys? Today we're gonna do part two of two going over informatics interviews. Let's go! Hi, this is Jen from Informatics Life where I give you real world informatics information and about healthcare and technology. Thank you for joining me for the interview part two of two. All right, let's get going. I'm not going too in depth with it because a lot of you have experienced interviews before, okay? But I'm just trying to give you some uh, basic information on interviews as well as some tips which are good, okay? For the interview, I'm gonna go back to your basic days because maybe you've been on the floor for like 10 years, 12, 15 years, and you're like, oh gosh, I gotta do this interview thing again. Oh my gosh, I'm going to interview. I got I interview, I got my master's degree now, and it's just been so long. I get it. I was on the floor for a long time too, and then I got into informatics, so it was kind of like, uh, what do I do again? I, I can't remember what an interview is supposed to be like. I remember looking up stuff because it was like, I'm, and then having to update your resume, all of that stuff. I get it, so that's why I'm here. So uh, this video is gonna be like pretty basic, but it's super important. Stepping into the role of informatics, please remember that it is more of a leadership role, okay? you may be placed over a 300 bed hospital and you're the informatics rep for that. Or maybe you are maybe sharing a, a couple of campuses with a few people and you have to handle all of that handy dandy work. You have to meet with executives, you have to meet with managers on the floor, you have to meet with EBS services, which is like environmental services. You have to meet with transportation because you are in charge of all types of documentation. So, Leadership is super important and that's why it's a part of the master's degree course. And if you haven't taken a degree, you haven't got to, it's okay, you listen to this too. You can benefit from it, okay? Because uh, again, uh, I, I'll one day go through my whole history, but I stepped into informatics without a degree. I had my associate's degree. And I am telling you all these tips that I'm telling you guys throughout all of my videos, I hope you are listening. Because if I can get into informatics with an associate's degree, so can you. But you gotta listen to the tips that I give you, okay? <laughs> now, a little side note before we keep moving forward in this. Um, I, I know the field is getting very saturated with master's degree people but it's still important that you listen to the tips that I give you because people can gl glean right over you and you'll be left high and dry with a master's degree if you don't pay attention to these small important tips. So again, informatics is heavily in leadership, okay? So because of that, you're walking into this interview, you have to walk in with some type of confidence. You can't be like, oh, oh, hi, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Jennifer and, and, and be all shy and, and just so quiet because we're going to be like, how are you going to speak in front of like all these executives and you, you not even trying to talk up. You're going to have to speak up in meetings. You're going to have to be the liaison, whether it's between physicians, nurses, whomever you are, whatever company rep, you represent a sonography or if you're health informatics, you're going to have to make sure you show that you are a strong leader, okay? Go in there with that strong handshake. That looked kind of weird, right? I, yeah, I can't do that. But <laughs> let them know that, hey, I'm pretty strong here and I'm gonna show them my handshake. People do remember handshakes. Another tip I can give you with this whole interview, so I told you go in there with confidence, like you are a strong leader, you can be strong, but you gotta make sure you are smiling too, and that you are positive. Go in there with the influence of, hi, I'm Jennifer, and I am so excited about getting into this field because I am a strong leader, and I love influencing others with patient care and technology. Again, you want to have a smile on your face, you want people to know that you are a pleasure, pleasure to work with. <laughs> they can't have someone coming in and you just have a nasty attitude or you're just negative. You're always complaining. You're always just always finding a problem for every solution. 
Did you hear what I said? Don't let that go over your head. Okay? <laughs> so go in there with a smile. Go in there with confidence. Go in there with leadership mentality. Go in there that in and shine. Shine brightly. All right. <laughs> so of course, what do you wear? All right, you want to dress professionally, okay? I always say this, imagine you're going to be meeting in front of a whole bunch of executives. So we want to see that you know how to dress professionally. You're not going to be wearing scrubs anymore. I remember that, okay? So your whole wardrobe is going to have to be redone if you don't have anything business. <laughs> so unless, and I can't speak for every informatics area, but many informatics specialists, they wear business clothing. So you will have to wear that. So for your interview, make sure you dress the part. Come in there looking nice. I'm not saying you have to go out there and be extravagant, but just look like, hey, you're meeting in front of a lot of executives. So go in there, maybe like this right here and look nice. Look like you are just Spot on, you are ready to rock and roll, all right? Got your dress, you got, you know how to dress. Make sure your hair is nice, you have makeup on, or you, whenever you go natural, y'all see my other videos, that's how I really wear, that's, I don't wear makeup to work. I'm just doing this for the interview, don't forget. But <laughs> for the interview, if you don't wear lipstick, that's fine, but just make sure you look nice, okay? We can't make you look, you can't go in there looking kinda crazy and <laughs> <laughs> that they're gonna trust that you're gonna meet executives like that. So just look nice. Again, I'm not saying you have to dress with a whole bunch of makeup on. Yeah, don't overdo it, but that's just me. <laughs> I'm so plain Jane again. I don't really wear this stuff. Just, just look nice. That's all I'm trying to say. Look nice. And for your hair, just make sure it's groomed, okay? Y'all see I have sister locks in my head. I know most of y'all are like, what is going on with this girl's hair? <laughs> so, <laughs> I do have locks. So just make sure if you have locks, make sure they're well groomed. If you have straight hair, curly hair, whatever kind of hair you have, just make sure it's cut, a nice haircut. Uh, it can be put up in a bun. I wear my hair a lot in the bun or whatever. Just, just make it look nice and you smell good. I will have to go into smells, right? I hope not. <laughs> All right, the last thing that we can talk about in this interview is Again, I talked about, and, and make sure you watch that part one, super important. All right, so bring in when you're discussing with them and you're ready, you look very nice, you, um, you're very confident in your resume because you took all the tips from the other videos that I put out there. You watched the interview video one already, so you kind of know what to say and to do. I'm giving y'all these, y'all better not waste these tips, all right? Then you wanna make sure that within your conversation to these leaders, you wanna make sure you bring up project management things that you've done in the department. You wanna make sure you're bringing up all these amazing things that you've accomplished and put it out there. Of course, don't overspeak them, but when they give you the opportunity to, to, act, to you know, conversate with them, how you're gonna bring value to them, hey, let me show you the things that I've done. And you wanna be very confident in your speech. You wanna discuss leadership, you wanna discuss experience, you wanna discuss the things that you have uh, led out initiative on your floor or your whatever company you worked on before. Remember, I can't tell you enough about this. When informatics positions typically open, any way you work, they're gonna get tons of applicants. Remember, you are up against hundreds of people. So you want to make yourself look like the most valuable person. You want to make sure the company or the representative you're sitting in front of know that you're going to bring added value to enhance their mission and their values for the company. All in all, all of this, the dress, the making sure your hair, your makeup, you you look appropriate, you're bringing in your verbiage as far as what to say, your your practical things that you've done, you've watched, again, watch all those other crazy videos that I've made, and be the best you. And don't lie, don't lie, don't fill up your resume or your, um, your interview with a whole bunch of fluff because let me tell you, it's gonna catch up with you and it's gonna stink to have that on your record if you're trying to transfer out to another department, but they have that you're just not representing the mission values, the statement, the mission statement, the values of the company. 
it's gonna it's gonna put on your, you know, put on your track record so you don't you don't want that be true to who you are i cannot say that enough i hope that was some amazing tips i hope that you learned i hope you take it all and go out there and rock it be amazing informatics strong confident Rock your world, take care of our nurses, our physicians, our RT, whoever you're gonna support, company, health informatics, whatever you're gonna do. Be amazing. If you like this kind of information, I have tons, tons more to share with you. I ran out of list, I was just like, oh my God, did you guys keep leaving amazing uh, suggestions? Drop down in comments. What do you want me to talk about? I will tell you what I know. I will share with you. I will even if I have to learn it. I will find somebody that has done it and maybe possibly do some interviews in the future. That sounds awesome, right? To bring all of you guys into the world, the real world of informatics, which I love. <laughs> you guys, like and subscribe down below if you like this kind of information, like I said. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are amazing. Stay amazing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.